Hey hikers, it's Lee with Trailside Fitness. I've got a lot of fun things coming your way over the next couple weeks that I think are going to be a real game changer for your backpacking experience. One of the things I really love about backpacking is the adventure and the travel. I just love that time in nature. There's something that you can experience in those miles that you can't get anywhere else. I want to make sure you get that same experience. A little bit about me. I'm a physical therapist assistant here in Washington. If you're not familiar with that, when you go to a physical therapy appointment, I'm the one that's taking your plan of care and I'm making sure you're getting the right exercise and activities to get you back to your sport as soon as possible. In 2016, I obtained my personal trainer certificate. That allows me to make sure I'm selecting the correct exercise and that I'm able to spot any movement errors that you might have that could lead to a future problem. In 2018, I had the Pacific Crest Trail. It was an absolutely life-changing adventure, and I'd be lying if I said I didn't think about that every day. I've also got about 20 years of backpacking experience uh, all throughout the West Coast. I feel like my education and my background in hiking and backpacking give me a unique platform to be able to help hikers reach their goal. Whether you're hiking under 100 miles, a couple hundred miles, or maybe a couple thousand miles, I've been able to assist hikers reach their goal. So you might be wondering, what's the number one reason that hikers don't complete their hike? Would you be surprised to learn that it's because of injury? Most injuries happen to hikers in the first 25% of a trip. So hikers have been planning for months or maybe years to go on this great adventure and finding themselves derailed with an injury. You know what the one thing is that you can do to actively help fight against those injuries? It's training. So why is training so important? Training is the number one thing you can do to reduce your risk of injury. The physical adaptations that happen from training are going to assist you directly when you get on trail. The stronger tendons and ligaments, stronger muscles, thicker bones, better endurance, cardiovascular efficiency, those are all going to be a huge benefit when you start your hike. You also get to decrease any negative self-talk about being out of shape when you start your hike. No one's got time for that. You can also raise any self-doubt you have about being physically prepared for your hike because you know you've put in the time to make sure you're prepared. You're also going to give yourself the best possible chance for success. Your body is that one thing that's going to get you from the start of the trail to the end of the trail. So what does training do for the body? The body responds to physical stress through exercise and working out in a number of ways. One of the first things it does is it helps to turn on more of the nerves that actually get the muscle to contract. We call this neuromuscular facilitation. Basically, the more you do something, the more the body wants to engage as much muscle as possible to make that job even easier. If you don't train and give yourself the positive physical stress, these adaptations don't take place. So working out beforehand, before you leave for your trip, all that physical stress and input you've been giving your body has done wonders. It's strengthened the ligaments and tendons. It's made them a little bit thicker, more robust. Your muscles are stronger and more fully engaged. Your endurance is better, both muscular endurance and cardiovascular endurance. When you step on that trail, you're gonna be ready to roll. And the reason is, you've given your body a consistent, physical, positive physical input for weeks leading up to your event. You wouldn't step out the door and just expect to run a marathon with no training. Just like you wouldn't step out the door and expect to hike from border to border in the United States with no training. It just doesn't make a lot of sense to just overlook this really simple thing you can do that's going to help set you up for success. So there's a lot of objections that I hear from hikers about training for a hike. One of them revolves around time. They're just time strapped and don't have a lot of time available to actually train. So I'm going to discuss a mileage and elevation plan to help get you ready for your hike. And I'm also going to give you my top tips for making sure you're maximizing the time you do have for training. I'm also going to talk about a couple of common objections that I hear. I often hear from hikers that they feel like they can just get in shape on the trail and that training isn't necessary. I'm going to let you know why I don't think that's your best strategy and really is going to set you up for success. And another common objection I hear is from hikers who report that they know a friend or someone that hiked a long distance trail without training at all and they really feel that training isn't a valuable asset. I'm going to let you know why that's also not your best strategy. Finally, thank you. I really appreciate you guys being a part of the Trailside Fitness family. I've got another video coming your way a little bit later this week 
where I'm going to discuss some of these objections and give you some valuable tips on making sure you're maximizing your training time. Until then, happy trails.